work that I'm currently creating for Art Basel in Hong Kong is um, a series of bombs called Blue Danube's and it's related to the Maralinga bombing that happened or testing that happened in Maralinga in the 1950s. I recently did a trip up there um, a few months ago to visit the, the site and to find out more about the area because a lot of those bombs were set off in Gugatha country, which is my ancestral countries. In the space itself, we're featuring a map of the area, or particularly of the, the, the train line where it was used for uh, transport of, of equipment. And there's photos or imagery of um, my grandfather and my great grandparents. One of the sites of great significance was where a bomb was tested and the heat was so extreme that the, the ground turned to glass. Hence the, the glass bombs, the, the yams. So it seems to be quite fitting for the work that I've created. Not a lot of people know about what happened up there and, um, and in terms of how many people lived in that village for 10 years, a lot of people became really sick um, during those testings, a lot of cancer related illnesses as well. For me I found it really sad because it's, it's, it's not just about my history as an Aboriginal person but it's also it's you know the English servicemen and women and the local people from South Australia and Australia that were affected as well. This work has been an interesting process in terms of how it's been created and through working with people on the project as well and talking with people, it's been quite an educational experience for all of us, I think. I'm keen to see how the work is going to be received in Basel. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what happens.